Hey everybody, today we're going to create our own grainy type of pencil for sketching. To do that we're going to use materials for our pen tip. So to start out we'll create a new layer that we're going to create our material on uh, and we want to set it to grayscale. So I'm going to right click and select uh, convert layer and set it to grayscale. Now what I want to do is create a selection area and I'll just fill it halfway up with the square tool. So here I'm just going to select a rectangle tool. Um, but first I will create the selection area and just draw a rectangular area there. Then I will select the rectangle tool and just fill it halfway up with black. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just for illustration purposes and I'm going to choose a marker tool and uh, the white color and just going to draw a little symbol in there with white. Then I'm also going to uh, use gray and draw another circle in there and that's just to illustrate what happens with colors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit register material and select image. Now the material property panel comes up I will give the material property a name and select use for brush tip shape. Then I select an area to save it usually under image material brush. Now I can give a search tag here but we're just going to go ahead and save it there. Here we see our material has been uh, created. Now what I'm going to do is set the primary color to red and the secondary color to yellow and that's just to see what will happen when we change pen colors. The next thing I'm going to do is select a subtool area and we're going to create a pencil so I'm going to go to my collection of pencils and in the subtool I'm going to create a custom subtool. Notice that uh, direct draw is used for the output process and pen is used for the input process and I'm going to select OK. The place that we want to start with is in the brush tip and we want to instead of using circle we're going to select a material and just click on this paper looking kind of icon and we will select the material that we just created. So now we have that material notice that we have a yellowish kind of color here that's because the selected color is yellow but if I now select red we see red. Now I'm going to increase the brush size just so it's easier for us to see what's going on here. Now we see it's just, it just looks like a pencil and we can see some uh, jagginess there but what I want to do now is go to stroke and I'm going to click on the fixed area, the very first circle and I'm going to change the spacing and what you see is what we have happening is the uh, uh, pencil edge is really just mini stamps of the material and you'll notice that again if I have a black color it picks up the primary color red in this case um, if I have white it picks up the secondary color and if I have grayscale it's a blend of the primary and secondary colors now that's the essence of creating your pencil but let me show you some specific things that can help so if I look at the brush uh, tip Notice if I change the angle, what happens to the, uh, the stamps or the materials. And if I combine that with the stroke, the gap spacing, we get uh, a different appearance. So it's uh, quite a different look to your stroke, especially if I change the brush size and we can see the appearance of it. I'm going to increase the brush size and go back to stroke, space it out just so that you can see what's happening to these things. In reality when you uh, are using the pencil you'll want the, the gap uh, smaller and the brush size smaller typically. So I'm going to go to brush tip because that's the place where we're going to get the biggest effect and two things that are helpful is number one you can go to the angle and set it to random. Another thing that you can do is you can set the brush density to random. So that has a very interesting effect as you uh, go back to the 
stroke and change the gap and change the size. So now you can see something that's much more like uh, what we might think of as a sketchy type of pencil. So that's the essence of creating your pencil. I'll show another a uh, couple of other things that help you understand uh, what kind of materials to create. So to explain that a little bit better, let's uh, get rid of this material and replace it with this one called A1. Notice that it's a circle in the square in the upper left size. It's a large circle on the upper upper left. It's grayscale. Um, I can now create a second material and in this case we're going to select A2 which is a small black circle in the lower right. So now if we increase the brush size so we can see this a little bit better we can see again we've got these random uh, angles and densities in there so I'm going to go to the brush tip and change those. I'm going to turn off the angle set it back to zero and turn off the brush density so that we can see what's happening and as I change the gap here we can see that you've got one stamp then another stamp one stamp and another stamp and the size of the material that's shown is relative to the selection area so we selected an area that was fairly large uh, relative to the circle to get a small appearing circle and we uh, selected an area that was about the size of the circle uh, maybe one-fourth of it or four times the circle size to get the larger circle. The final thing that we want to show is what happens if you have an expression of color in there. So we've got this layer and we've changed it from grayscale we're changing it to color so if we have a color layer normal type of thing and we create a material there so suppose we take a, a blue color like a blue pencil and just do some scribbles there and register that. Now we go back to our pencil and uh, replace uh, one of the materials with that color and let's go ahead and delete the other one so that we only have that one blue. Uh, notice that no matter what colors I have selected for the primary and secondary color it's going to show the color that the material was created in. Okay, that's the steps for creating your own pencils in Clip Studio Paint.